Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles podcast. Today is going to be a pretty short episode because um, it's a very stressful time of year if you're a teacher or a parent listening. Um, right now, at the time I'm filming this, it is the week before my school goes on spring break. Um, I am a middle school teacher in case um, you didn't know that. So, of course, this week is very, very chaotic and... Everyone, teachers, kids, parents are very low energy and just want to be on break. We just finished a round of standardized testing. It's a whole thing. Um, but I knew I wanted to squeeze in some time for at least a short little podcast for you guys. Um, so I could kind of give you some updates with projects. Um, yeah, so here we go. I definitely think this month has been the month of starting all the projects and finishing none of them which means I have a lot of stuff in my whip basket, but it is all stuff that I'm like going to pull out because I don't like how it turned out. Um, I was feeling very, um, is craft blocked a word? Like writer's block, but for crafting. I kept starting things and not wanting to finish them because I didn't like how it looked, so I kept starting over. So I don't really have any whips to show you because of that. Um, I think anything that is a whip, like, it's probably going to look drastically different in the next few months as I continue working on it, so I'm not even going to go there. Um, but I do have a yarn haul for you and some hopefully exciting news. So let's just go ahead and dive into the yarn haul. Um, a very dear friend of mine who's one of my teacher buddies gave me a Joann's gift card for my birthday. So last week when it was an especially tough day at school, I treated myself to a trip to Joann's the following Saturday, um, which was very much needed, although my bank account might disagree with that statement, um, but I had a lot of fun. And it was all four specific projects, which is new for me. Usually I go and it's kind of like a free-for-all with the yarn, but this time I actually went with specific projects in mind of stuff I was looking for. So. Starting with this, this is the Big Twist textile in the color dark green. It's kind of an olivey green. I don't know if the camera's picking. Actually, the camera is pretty true to color right now. Um, it's a deep olive green. This is like that t-shirt type yarn of, it's definitely a knit texture on the yarn itself and it feels like a soft t-shirt. Um, let's look at the info on this. Um, it's classified as a super bulky. I'm not seeing the fiber content on here. Oh, it's on the top. 32% polyamide, 68% cotton. I bought this because I really like having purses with tons of pockets because I'm a busy person, because I'm a teacher, and I need places to put things that ch children sometimes just randomly hand me. Um, and pockets for receipts and phone and wallet and like all the stuff I carry around with me. But I have a really hard time finding purses that are a color other than black and still have a whole bunch of pockets in them. Um, I used to have a dark green purse from Vera Bradley that I really, really liked, but it was, it like got a stain on it or something, so I don't use it anymore. Um, it's still in my pile of like mending stuff in the hopes that one day I will be able to fix the stain, but I think it's a lost cause. So I wanted to experiment with making my own purse so that I could pick the color and all the pockets and everything. So this is what I landed on. I did purchase four of these. The other three are tucked away nice and cozy in my yarn shelf, so I only got out one to show you. Um, but I'm really excited to make a purse. I think I'm going to model it after the one that I currently have, which is like that waterproof kind of nylon-ish material that like sport sack bags are made out of. Is that brand even still a thing? I don't know. I remember thinking that sport sack was very cool when I was in like middle school. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try making my own purse. I'm planning on doing it in crochet and I'm hoping to try out the waistcoat stitch which looks like very structured and kind of a little bit on the thicker side so I'm hoping that that will work out well with this like t-shirty yarn to make a nice little bag for myself. Um, the second set of yarn I got is actually a very eclectic set of stuff. I am trying to make a pattern 
And this is where the like kind of exciting announcement comes into this video. Um, in the next few months ish, I am hoping to open an Etsy store um, with the beginning being mostly selling patterns. So I'm working on a couple things that um, will not be videos on YouTube because I want to see how the patterns sell by themselves first with no YouTube tutorial. Um, but if you have particular YouTube tutorials that I have done in the past that you would like a written pattern of, please let me know because I'd be happy to write them up and everything. Um, I'm just not sure yet if people are willing to pay for written patterns if the pattern itself is on YouTube already. Um, I know that I, when I'm looking for project now, almost exclusively look for YouTube tutorials and don't purchase written patterns very often um, because I like the, the visual. So let me know below. Do you like having the written patterns even if it's on YouTube and would you pay for written patterns if it's already on YouTube? Curious to know your opinions. Um, but anyway, I am looking to make a pattern collection that is all car accessories, and I'm going to try to not go into too much detail about what exactly I'm making yet, um, because I kind of want to keep it a secret so I can do like a big reveal. But I was trying to find cotton yarn that both matched the color of my car and had my favorite colors in it. And you'll see why this got complicated in just a second. So I ended up leaving Joann's with three Bernat Softy Cottons, two Sugar and Cream, what size is this? Super size, and one Big Twist Cotton. So my car is actually a dark red burgundy color. But my favorite color is like deep teal. So I was trying to find a palette of cotton yarns that I could put all together since I am making the test version for my own car. And this is what I ended up with. So I'm going to spread these out so we can go through the colors a little bit more. Um, the first three I got are the Bernat Softy Cotton. This is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. I think it's a nice soft... Um, on the thinner side cotton, it says that this is a three and that the like sugar and creams are a four, but I think you could still work with them together. It wouldn't be a huge issue. Um, what else do we know about this? 254 yards in a skein. I got it in three different colors. This is the color pool green. This is feather gray, although to me it looks more like a beige than a gray. Yeah, it's definitely like beige, brown, not gray, um, and the color warm red. But I wanted more than just those three colors, which is why I branched out to other cotton yarn brands. So I got the Lily Sugar and Cream. Let's look at this one. What's the fiber content? It's so hard to find things on the labels sometimes. It's 100% cotton. Um, it's 190 yards, and this is the color red, so that's like a brighter cherry red. I also got it in the color teal. That's like a deep blue-green. It's looking kind of washed out on camera. I'm sorry about that, but it's definitely like a darker teal. Very much evenly blue and green, not like a turquoise that's more blue, but a teal. And then this one I got for like kind of a little pop of color. This is the Big Twist Cotton. Um, it's 96 yards. It is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. And this is in the color Aquamarine Speckle. So that is the light aqua with some deep teal and like Kelly Green speckles in it. So those are all going to be used for the same project to make something for my car. Um, the version that you will see in the pattern will probably be made with all the same yarn type. I just wanted to make something for myself that I really liked first while I'm testing the pattern and then work with some more uniform colors as I'm working out um, the final design. So I don't even really know how the process for getting pattern testers works, but I guess if you're interested in doing a pattern test, um, DM my Instagram account. Um, it should be linked on my bio on YouTube. If not, um, it's stitches dot and dot scribbles on Instagram. I had to put the dots between the words um, to get a username that was not already taken. 
So yeah, you can send me a message on there if you're interested in doing any pattern testing or if you have any feedback about patterns you would like to see as written patterns that I've already done, anything like that. Um, I, my Instagram is still a pretty small account. I think I have like 12 followers right now, so um, I'd appreciate some love over there anyway. The last thing that I got from Joann's is a yarn I've never worked with before, but this is called Trubu Sparkle. Um, I, this was the one yarn that I like came up with a plan for it on the spot. Um, but I think that this is just absolutely beautiful. So let's talk about it first. Um, this is, what's the fiber content? 96% rayon from, ba from bamboo and 4% polyester. There's 195 yards in here. Um, this is the color Thunder. It's a really beautiful, deep, like, almost purplish gray with like green sparkles through it and I am obsessed. So this is also probably going to be used for testing a pattern that I want to write and release on Etsy. Um, however, I don't think I actually have enough of this yarn for it so that might depend on if I can get some more skeins of it because two of these little things of yarn is not enough to make the item that I'm hoping to make. Um, I think that's going to be it for our podcast today. Sorry that this one is so short. Um, I wanted to make sure I still took the time to say hi to you guys and give you some updates. Uh, but end of March and early April is like crazy for anybody who's still related to education in any way. Um, parents with kids, um, I hope you know how hard your kids' teachers are working right now. Um, this is a tough time of year for everybody. Um, I will see you in my next video and let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns. Follow me on Instagram, leave comments below, all that good stuff. TikTok too, I'm on TikTok for some reason. <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.